Layer comps are a really powerful tool in Photoshop that we can also adjust when we're placing PSD files in InDesign. It's a great way to try different looks in a layout, and even if we don't use this layout in the final annual report, we do need to know this technique because it's helpful for comping different looks in a publication or other type of design. So go ahead and open up layercomps.psd in Photoshop, and we have four layers in this. We have the background, original layer, and then we have layer one, layer two, layer three. So if we wanted to add more of those, we could go to File, Open, and I could select one of the other photos from the support file, click Open, click and drag it off this tab here, and use the Move tool and just click and drag it over here and it has a different color profile and that's fine. I'm going to press OK and I can resize it. Hold Shift to maintain the original proportion and click and drag the corner like that and we could add another image like that. We can also go to File Place and place other images in either way. So I'll press Return or Enter or click the check mark or press Apply when we select another tool there. So when I've added these photos here, it's added new layers here, of course. And what if we're designing something and we want to try different looks and place those images into InDesign with the different looks, whether it be effects or placement of layers or visibility of layers. So I'll show you what I mean. If you go to Window and then Layer Comps right here, we don't have any by default, but right now how these layers are set we can actually add a layer comp. So if I click the create new layer comp icon on the bottom of the layer comps panel, we have layer comp one, and then there's visibility, which means it's going to save which ones are visible, and by default, these are all visible for this one. Position, just where they are on the image, and then appearance, do they have some kind of style, or do they have a layer blending mode? So this one's just the default look, we'll just call that default layer comp, and I'm going to press OK. And so now let's just add some effects. So let's move this over there, so that's changing the position of a layer. Let's select all these layers, so hold shift. So I'm going to hold shift on the keyboard and click layer one, and that selects all four of those because this one was selected by default. And from there, we could change the opacity if we wanted. We can move them around as a group with the move tool on the tools panel and so on. I can click on just one of these, like this one right here, and add a style to it. Let's go to layer and then layer style. And there are many effects here. We could try drop shadow, stroke is just a border around the photo, and many other effects here. But let's just go to drop shadow. And that's easy to overdo, so let's just do a very subtle one. And if we have preview checked, we can see the before and after. So this needs to be a little bit shorter there, and also on the other side, like so. And let's bring the opacity up a bit. And so we could add a drop shadow, or we could add a stroke, which is just a simple border. And I can change the color by clicking on it there. I'll just change this to white. And then we can adjust the size, and whether or not it's on the outside or the inside of that photo. So for this example, I have eight pixels inside, white color, and the default for blending mode, which is normal, opacity 100%. So I'll press OK, and so now we'll see we have this stroke effects, and if we added more effects, they would be listed here. So instead of clicking this and going through all those steps again, we can just hold Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac, and click and drag that, and then we can hold Alt or Option and click and drag this one here. Make sure we're clicking and dragging on the effect and not the layer itself because then it would duplicate the layer. So I'm going to hover over the effects here, hold Alt, click and drag, and there we go. Now so that is a look that we want to save as a comp. So I'm going to press create new layer comp. We'll call this photo borders. And we don't want to uncheck appearance because that would affect whether or not we have the layer style saved as part of the layer comp. So we definitely want to keep that checked because then we'll have that effect that we just applied. So I'll press OK. And let's toggle the visibility of some of these so we have a simpler layout here. Let's move these two. I'm going to shift and click this one so we can move those over. Something like that. And we'll go in the middle there, and let's just add this as a third layer comp. We'll say simple 
three photos. And then finally, let's just have a simple original version, but let's just add some text. You usually don't want to have text in Photoshop brought over into InDesign. We'll talk about that, but for this example, let's just add some text up at the top. And I'm going to click the Move tool here. Make sure Show Transform Controls is checked up there in the Options panel. So then we can click and drag the corner, something like that. All right, so let's save this one as a layer comp as well. And we'll notice that we added a new layer. We can add it to a layer comp. So I'm going to click that, and we'll have this one as Simple Title. I'll click OK. So now we can click in default in the Layer Comps panel. We can click Photo Borders, Simple Three Photos, and then Simple Title. So let's save this. I'll save this as a new file, Layer Comps Added .psd. Remember, we do want to add that as a PSD file, not a JPEG or a ping, because that will flatten those images. Now this is the cool part. When we go to InDesign, let's go to File Place, and let's select Layer Comps Added, and Let's be sure to have Show Import Options checked or hold Shift when we press Open, either way. So now, instead of adjusting the visibility of the layers right here under the Show Layers option, right here, Layer Comp, we've got some more options here. Instead of Last Document State, meaning what state the document was in when we had it in Photoshop and saved it, we can set this to Default, and it previews it right here, as long as we have Show Preview checked. We can place it as Photo Borders simple three photos, and simple title. So this is the same PSD file. This is not for JPEGs, not for PSD files. It's one PSD file with layer comps as part of the file. So now when I press OK, and if I just click and drag this here, it'll show that version of the PSD file. And if I went to File, Place, Layer Comps added again, make sure Show Import Options is checked, and we can go to Simple 3 Photos. OK. And then click and drag. And we'll see that example there as well. So we can have many different iterations of a design, a photo gallery, and so on from the same PSD file while placing it into InDesign. And just like toggling the visibility of layers, even after we've placed a PSD file, we can change the layer comp in a placed PSD file like this as well. So if I had this selected, and go to Object, and then Object Layer Options. And then instead of toggling the visibility here of the layers, we'll just go to Layer Comp, and go to Photo Borders, and then there we go, it changes it for us. Click OK, I'll click this one, go to Object, Object Layer Options, and then change this one to the simple title. So I could even move this up here, Alt, click and drag it to duplicate it, and then adjust the settings, Object, Object Layer Options, set this as the default, click OK. And I could do the same thing here, Alt, click and drag, Object, Object Layer Options, and then Simple 3 Photos. So those are the four layer comps that we had produced. You can also change layer blending modes as an option in here. So we have default here, and let's just say I changed the blending mode of this image here to multiply. It kind of darkens and blends in a little bit different way than just being completely opaque, like normal mode. If I set that there, I could create a new layer comp like that. And then now we've got one where we have this as with a layer blending mode of multiply. So if I click default, then it goes back to that original setting. Now if we change some settings while selecting a layer comp, for example, let's just say I have these and I change the opacity down a little bit. I could create a new layer comp and it would save those settings. Or you can click this double arrow icon here and that would update the layer comp. In other words, it applies these current settings to the layer comp here. And if I go to InDesign, we'll notice this still looks the same. That's because I haven't saved the PSD file. So if I go back here and go to File, Save, now I've saved the PSD file and go to InDesign. Notice we have that exclamation point, that warning sign. Like, hey, this has been updated, so we click on that, and it updates it. And now we have that more transparent effect on these photos for this default layer comp that we designed. And click on this one. 
It will look the same though. This one will look the same as well because we did not change those layer comps. And another way to update the current settings to match it to one of the layer comps we already created, besides clicking this update layer comp, we can also update just the visibilities of the selected layer comps and layers, update the positions and update appearances. So for example, I move this one over here and I click update positions right here, then that's defined. So if I click photo borders, click photo default, notice that now it's here. So that's another way to redefine that layer comp. So that's using layer comps to try different looks in a layout in a raster image, a photo gallery for example, or some kind of raster design or other design in Photoshop, and adjusting the layer visibility, the positioning of layers, and then the appearance including layer styles and layer blending mode, and then using that one PSD file to place different iterations of that image in InDesign. Thanks and I'll see you in the next lesson.